Good morning, everybody. Happy Vlogmas Day 7. Headed out the door. I just washed my face, put on some glow screen, did my brows, did my little workout makeup routine, which is literally glow screen and brow gel. Packing my bag. We're out. We're headed out for the day, really. Um, I got this bag at the Pilates event last night. It's a Stony Clover bag, but I love how it has a strap and it zips, which is huge for the program. Going to work out with my trainer, Jane. Happy Wednesday. We uploaded a new episode of Gals on the Go podcast, so that's always fun. I need to take some um, Tylenol because I started my period this morning. So it's cramp season. There was some hand sanitizer in here. Why not? Headed to the gym with my trainer. I'm so excited. I haven't seen her in a minute, actually. So it'll be good, and I've been like working out, so hopefully it won't be the craziest thing. Oh. Gym outfit of the day. This sports bra is from Altered State. My friends at Altered State sent me this and it's so cute. Leggings are blue lemon align. Socks say bandier. I got them last night. This jacket literally feels like Spanx material. It is from Altered State also. It's almost 60 degrees outside. So I kind of want to do eh, what I did yesterday and wear this with like a vest. I probably don't even need the vest. It's more just for the vibes. Yeah, let's get a vest. Oh my gosh, this looks so cute. Same vest from yesterday. This is from Altered State. This is from NAKD. Let's get some sunglasses. I'm gonna be late. Um, and some shoes. Sunglasses. Ugh, I like always go for these, but they just work. The Pradas. And then sneaks. Ooh, do I wanna be walking around in these all day though? I guess so. Yeah, these are my APLs because they're good to work out in. Yeah, I guess I'll wear them. If these get dirty, I've gotten really good at washing my own sneakers. Um, yeah, so nails done and then I'll have a little time to myself and I'm actually gonna go do a little Christmas shopping in Soho. Maybe have a little uh, table for one club moment. Um, where I will have lunch with myself because I've been cooking all three of my meals every day for the last like week well, that's false because it was the weekend, but like The last two weeks on the weekdays. I've pretty much been cooking my own meals besides Fridays, maybe if I'm going to dinner. I've been really enjoying it So I might reward myself with some lunch and then I'm getting my nails done I'm excited because I'm gonna do some like some sort of pink for gals on the go. Yeah, okay, this is cute. Then we're gonna come back. We have a spray tan later. And that's that. I'm kind of feeling like icky because I feel like last Vlogmas, I, oh my God, ginger shot. I feel like last Vlogmas, I gave you my heart. I did more Christmassy things in New York City. Got my ginger shot for at some point. But this year I'm trying to like do more wellness things, just feel good because we have live shows both weekends, but like I'm doing festive things this weekend. I'm hosting that holiday party at SantaCon. Hopefully Sunday I'll do something fun, but I don't know. Let me know if you guys are like annoyed with me. Hopefully not. I'm try I feel like more people appreciate the more just like me vlogging every day and it's real life. <sighs> but I tried to go to the Union Holiday Market, but I also don't want it to be forced. I want it to be stuff that I want to do. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I feel like I'm just a festive person, right? Like the Christmas music? I don't know. I'm overthinking it. <sighs> I need to take a deep breath and enjoy my walk. Here is my gym fit. Let's get started with the day. Ooh, I need to put in earrings. This bag has so much stuff in it. This is amazing. All right, let's actually go now. Such a good workout. The new program that Jane has for me is so good. It felt so good to do some strength training 
and her and I hadn't seen each other in a while so it was just like a good catch up I don't know I just feel good I feel good I feel good now I have a little time to myself before my nail appointment I want to go to Le Labo and get some gifts for people um, I want to get a gift for Mickey the girl that does my nails because I'm just so thankful for her and she's the sweetest I want to get something for Jane I don't know I love Le Labo so I feel like it's a fun gift to give people realization about anxiety <laughs> while sitting having breakfast alone and I know it sounds so simple and it's always easier said than done and like when I give other people advice it's so easy but it's hard for me to take my own advice I'm like feeling excited and anxious about the live show but when I was sitting there I was like we have everything planned we did a full run through we've taught we talk about it every hour we have everything planned down to the T. Why waste this week stressed and anxious when I could be excited and just like enjoy this lovely day I'm having to myself and get to go do my nails for the show and get a spray tan and it's a great feeling and I hope it stays because I'm kind of like, I'm chilling. Like that's what's amazing about being prepared is you're less anxious I feel like because you're prepared. So why am I being anxious if I am prepared? So I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm feeling good. This street on Soho is like so gorgeous. I love these columns. It's always so quiet on this street. I always drink my coffee at home, but I treated myself to get a second cup today at Felix because it's so cute in there. I got a decaf stopping by one store to see if I can find something that I I know what it is at a store I can't say because my mom's probably watching this vlog but it's for Christmas for her then we're gonna go to the nail salon bag secured home sweet cozy apartment it's only like four o'clock something and it's dark I got pink Barbie nails. I'm obsessed. I'm also just obsessed with my outfit. <laughs> like it's literally a casual outfit, but I just am vibing with it. I saw it in the mirror and I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. I'm about to hop in the shower and get ready for my spray tan, but I actually hung around for like an hour because Kelly, Makeup XKA, one of my very good friends here in the city, was getting her nails done literally right after me. And we are both so busy. It's so hard for both of us to be in the same room. She's actually doing my makeup for the live show. So it's a treat. I'm getting to see her a lot this week. But she was like, wait, 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 I'm almost there. So I literally stayed and talked with her for like an hour while she was getting her nails done. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to go. So I'm back now. Gonna do a light body shower, get the spray tan, which will be a huge boost for the confidence. As suspected, my shoes got super dirty today because it was a little rainy. I stepped in some puddles, so no worries though. I'm a pro at <laughs> washing sneakers. I'm gonna spray them with Shout. This stuff is amazing. And then wash with my Glamorous Wash, but then also use the OxyClean White Revive. I got this too, I don't remember what this, oh, laundry stain, I guess I could try the OxyClean instead. Um, and just go full force on the OxyClean, right? All right, things have happened. I got my spray tan, I'm so happy. I use glow to go in here in New York City. Um, they come to you, which is amazing. They're a little bit more pricey, but it's so nice, especially living in the city and not having a car. Like, I would always go get my spray tans and get my car, whatever, but it's a blessing, it's a privilege to be able to have them come here. So I did that. She just came from Brooks apartment. Um, I'm so happy to be tan, like I love to be tan. I feel like a new human, I feel like a lot of people feel this way. Um, but yeah, it's almost six o'clock. I wanted to try on my live show outfits again to see which one I'm feeling for Friday, and now I can't do that. But I have pictures of myself in the outfits. I just like can't decide. I'm washing my sneakers. That's why it's like, <laughs> that's why it's going crazy over here. But 
yeah, as I've been doing, I've just been writing out my day. Tonight, I want to plan all of my food and drinks that I'm gonna do for my SantaCon festive holiday party on Saturday. I'll read you guys, I found this drink recipe I think I'm gonna make, I actually bought a big drink dispenser off of Amazon so I can make a big drink and then you can like dispense it as you please. I have, n I like told a lot of people about this, I've never had this many people in my apartment, but I feel like people will come, will come and go at different times. I don't know, I'm excited to host though, it makes me happy. I literally can't believe that I'm having a live show Friday night and then I'm hosting on Saturday, but we're not going out after the live show because we're doing a meet and greet for like certain people that bought tickets for that. So I think I'm just gonna be tired and then Saturday I can wake up feeling refreshed-ish, maybe, and ready to party. The drink that I think I wanna do is called the Tipsy Rudolph Punch. Um, I found it online, but it's orange juice, cranberry juice, ginger ale, vodka with a lemon. But honestly, looking at this now, I'm like, that is so intense. But I want it to be fun, and I'm like trying to think of something that everyone will like. I feel like that'll be easy, but like I'll also have other stuff for people to just make their own drinks. But I just want to have like something for people to make or sparkling cranberry vodka punch, which is cranberry juice, vodka, lemonade, and ginger beer. Which honestly might be easier than I can buy cranberries to put on top. Well, either one I could put cranberries on top. I don't really know. Comment down below which one you guys think I should do. They're very similar. Either one, I'll probably call either of them Tipsy Rudolph because I think that's a funny name. Like, oh, go get some Tipsy Rudolph. But food, I'm not like trying to provide meals for people, but I feel like I should have some like light bites on hand. So I kind of want to get like Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets tray, like a pre-made, I know I'm the worst. I could get a cheese board and make it, but I kind of just want to like have everything prepared. Cheese board, some crudite, like vegetables and dip, like chips chips and salsa maybe, just like random little, and like some sweet treats. I don't know why I'm saying everything like this. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna kind of hash all that out. I might start ordering some of the alcohol now um, and then go get some more tomorrow, but I need to see where I can find peppermint schnapps. Like maybe every liquor store has peppermint schnapps, I don't really know. Peppermint schnapps followed by, no, chocolate sauce first and then peppermint schnapps, so tasty and so fun for the holidays. <laughs> so things have changed in about five minutes. Um, if you guys watched my vlog yesterday, I was talking about, you know, dating a guy that works in finance and he's literally always busy and, you know, it's kind of like we see each other mainly on the weekends. He just called me in the best mood. He just had some in-person meetings. He's all dressed up and he's like, let's go to dinner. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like I am literally, this is me right now, like hair, I, I should have, uh, like it's gonna have to be some sort of slick thing. I also just ate like a little bit. Ooh, the shoes are done, let's see. Oh my gosh, they look incredible. The magic of washing shoes. I don't know why I get like so satisfied by washing my sneakers. Good as new. These are APL sneakers by the way. Anyways, he was like, I just think it would be so much fun. And tomorrow night, I actually have like a high school reunion. My high school comes to New York like once or twice a year and like has a tab at a bar. And like, I just peaked in high school, I'm pretty sure. So <laughs> I'm like going to that tomorrow night. So I won't see him tomorrow night. These are just one of those moments where like you just do it, you go. So I said, okay, why don't you come? He's in like uptown right now. So I was like, why don't you come here? I'll feed you a snack, like some hummus or something while I like figure out what to wear and then we can go to dinner somewhere around here. And then he goes, you might want to dress up. I was like, why? And he was like, cause I'm dressed up. I'm like, fuck, like, cause he's wearing like a full suit right now. And I just got spray tan. And is it still raining? Oh my gosh, is it still raining? If it's still raining, I'm really screwed. But what I'm thinking is I'll do some sort of slick, I really don't want to put on makeup. I know he doesn't care, but I do want to like match his vibe. I have like a skims dress, but that's tight. It'll come to me. I'm gonna sit here and think for a second. My night completely changed, but I'm really okay with it because date night! Okay, first step, hair. These are the two things I use to slick back my hair. Boar Bristle Brush, Amazon. This is the brand I have, Denman. Obsessed. This is the exact one I've always had. And I need to get more of this. The Got To Be Ultra Glued Invincible Styling Gel. Run it through my hair. 
it gives your hair this nice sheen and then I use clear elastics to do a low bow and it's not like my best work but it'll do and I'll put some hoop earrings in and unfortunately whatever I wear I'm gonna have to and it's gonna have to be something I can like button because I'm not putting anything over this button like it's it's there I'm not ruining it now okay so here is the outfit I went with this dress I honestly I think it's from Kuyana it's just like a loose so it's not like super stuck to my body like black midi dress I put on these boots from free people they're so comfortable and then my like favorite leather jacket ever from Lamarck. Earrings are Maggie Villa Maria. And I literally don't have anything on my face. <laughs> so that's gonna be that. But yeah, I think I clean up nicely, spray tan and all. So I have this bag in black and I was gonna wear that, but I was like, you know what? It's the holiday season, it's Vlogmas. Might as well pull out the green. What do I want in my bag? My keys and my wallet, that's important. Ryan, are we gonna have a beer tonight? Is that the energy? I'm here for it. Lip balm. Tampons. <laughs> perfume, so I don't smell too much like a spray tan. Ryan, do you have a perfume that I wear that you like or no? Oh. All of them, good answer. I don't think you've ever, I feel like you don't have a very good sense of smell. I don't think you've ever like commented on how I smell. All right, well we're gonna go with my tried and true Le Labo Noir. I don't want to get it on the tan. It smell. it's like a unisex one. It smells so good. Wow, I'm loving the tan. Wednesday night. You ready for dinner? I'm ready. You look so handsome. Don't wait, I need a Santa hat. You don't need a Santa hat. You came from work. Everyone knows you came from work. It's okay. I'm sure we're in the Santa hat. Um, do you think after dinner we could stop by the Union Square Holiday Market? Depending. Sure. I have tried to come here for the last two nights and I guess it closes. You just think at night it would be more open. Dang. Uh, I wanted to get some hot cocoa and walk around. I was so excited. Oh well. <laughs> Try again tomorrow. <laughs> I will eventually get to that dang Christmas fair. Now I'm just determined. Um, but dinner was lovely, went to Rosa Mexicana. I'm kind of cold now. <laughs> Back now, and we had a lovely evening. Ryan just left. I got a package from Revolve of clothes that I picked out. So I want to show you guys. I'm really obsessed with some of these pieces. First up, I think I'm wearing this literally tomorrow. I have an event, and then I was telling you guys about my high school reunion thing. I feel like this is like a perfect outfit. Some of my friends that are going are, um coming straight from work so I was trying to match the vibe um so this dress I've had my eye on Revolve forever and I finally got it this beautiful striped moment and it wraps I feel like this would look so cute with these boots for tomorrow I feel like that's perfect for like seeing old teachers stuff like that but it's also I feel like cute I haven't tried it on yet and I'm not trying it on just because of the spray tan but I think it's gonna be a vibe. Everything I'm showing right now, I will link down below. Then I always just, whenever I do go out, like just to, like to the bars or like like dinner with Ryan or like friends, I usually just wear like a black fun top of sorts and jeans or leather pants during the winter time. So I got this top, which is so cute. So it's like warm, like this is like a pretty good thick material, but then it's sexy, you know? It's got some fun little moments to it. So. You tie it once up here and then once down here, so it's kind of a cutout, but it looked really, really cute on the model, so it's a nice, fun way, um, and it also keeps you warm, but just to, like, dress it up a little bit. You can wear it with a midi skirt, too, if you want. I've also had my eye on this for a while. I love a blazer. I love a blazer top. This one is so cute. I feel like it's going to be very flattering. It also has little shoulder pads in here, so it actually tapers down into, like, a corset, and then it's an open back. I feel like this is gonna look amazing with some high-waisted pants. So cute, so hot, love it. Um, again, good for this time of year. I just got a basic brown tank. I'm really into brown, like styling browns and neutrals all together. Um, and this is just a good kind of layering point and just to wear around the house with sweatpants. But from the brand Lovers and Friends, love this brown racer back shirt. 
Oh my gosh, I was obsessed with this. I'm actually doing another hosting situation next week. You guys will see more about it. I'm like moderating something. Is this like a new avenue for me? Um, but so it's this beautiful, it's like, it looks super light on camera, but in person it's like a little bit brighter of a green than it's coming off in the lens. But it's like a wrap blazer kind of. Like I like how it's, goes to one side. I feel like it on the model she was wearing it closed and I thought it was really cute. There was a matching skirt but I'm not like a short skirt person usually so I don't know. I didn't realize <laughs> there is like a heart on the button which isn't my favorite but it's such a beautiful blazer. It also has shoulder pads in it. I think this would be really cute jeans and like some cute heels. Even honestly a little green and pink moment like if the pink was the shoes or like you know just some fun like netted heels I don't know I'm just I think this is going to be perfect for that next week oh and then this is a fun bodysuit it's another like easy cutout top so it's got a turtleneck and then it basically goes over your chest and has a cutout kind of around the stomach and then it's long sleeve there's like a famous dress Kylie Jenner wore so it's kind of like that but just the top so I think that's so fun. I like how it's a turtleneck and then there's a cutout. I think this is going to look really good. And then this I got honestly for when I go back to Florida for Christmas because it's a lot warmer there. And I'm here for the winter whites. This dress is so gorgeous. It's like a wrap around the stomach and then it goes into a midi. I love a midi skirt dress and then the pockets the collar it's like so washed out from the light that I have on I don't know if you guys can really see it but I think this is a beautiful dress with a spray tan honestly in like a sleek bun might wear this on Christmas because in Florida it's so warm or for like a brunch situation even with these boots something like that or heels or even sneakers I love it it's more of a Florida dress for this time of year but and then this I'm going to Miami in January I'm so excited I'm going with Kelly my friend seven Cass um, we're doing a little girls trip to Miami I'm literally counting down the days I'm so excited so I'm like starting to slowly just because I'm so excited the Virgo in me like has to look forward to things and like plan things so I'm like ooh, this would be good for Miami oh, I know I'm crazy this shirt it's a meow top. It, I love meow brand so much. Um, I love this orange. And what also to justify, I was like, this is stuff I can bring to Florida when I go home in like a week and a half. So I love this. So fun. This dress is good for now, but the colors kind of gave me Miami vibes. I have this exact dress in a different color. I've worn it. I've posted on Instagram in it a couple times actually. It's this beautiful midi dress. I have the same thing in a different print. Love this print. I love the colors. It was giving Miami. And I'm going in January, so it's like soon. And I love the open back. It's so flattering and so comfortable and so stretchy and just lovely. So if you're going to Miami soon, like I think, oh wow, I think that's literally, yeah, like a palm tree. Love it. Lastly, from Lululemon, Sydney Adams completely inspired me. I literally told her to get these Lululemon Align V-Waist pants. So I love the Align leggings so much. These cross in the front, and she posted a video of her in them. Granted, she's the most, like, she looks, she kills everything. Like, everything she wears I want, and she looks so good in, but... I think these are going to be really flattering. They looked amazing on her. Hopefully they look good on me. Um, but I think it's because they're like that V high-waisted moment. So we'll see. I'll try them on tomorrow or the next day probably. But yeah, so I'm going to put these things away, hang them up so I don't let them pile up and just not do anything about it. I'm trying to be better about like instead of just like throwing something on my bed, like, okay, let's, let's hang it back up now. It's hard when you're in a rush and like trying to go somewhere, but you know. Something that I got for myself last year that I'm really, really happy I did. A thing of like holiday cards that are just blank on the inside. These the ones I got. I think I got them last year at Paper Source. They're so cute. This little taxi, little city. It says, be merry and bright. Comes in handy when you're like, oh, I should write this person like a Christmas card or you got someone like a Christmas gift. And you're like, oh, I don't have cards. Just get like a pack of, you know, standard Christmas cards. It's so perfect. 
I um, gave Mickey a candle today and I had that. So these are the cards I'm also going to use to give to like my doorman and stuff. So it's definitely nice to have on hand. I think now I'm going to resume what I was going to do earlier. I mean, it's already like 930. So I'm going to pop a melatonin and just kind of like chill. But I think I'm going to kind of plan exactly what liquors I want to get and snacks exactly like if I need to make anything um, for this weekend just to get ahead because I don't want to do like anything on Friday for the day of the live show like I'm gonna do things because I'm a doer but like you know I don't want to be stressed about anything I don't want to be stressed about the next day I'm gonna watch Firefly Lane while I do all those things because I'm loving the show and I'm only on season one and season two just came out so it's so exciting to just have so much content but yes I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.